finish strong. You gotta catch that neighbor. Say, neighbor, it's time to finish strong. It's time to finish strong. Turn around to somebody and I praise God with you. Not the demon that's sitting in front of you that don't want to praise God with you. Say, neighbor, I was talking to somebody the other day, I said, listen, they said, listen, listen, 
and you are cursed with a curse if you don't pay your tithes. I said, man, that, that, that ain't all dealing with that scripture. They feel that just because, you know, ah, most preachers, they, 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 they use that scripture because they feel that, hey, when you use that scripture to get people to pay, but that scripture, you know, if you research that scripture and you begin to deal with it in the Greek and also the, uh, the, uh, the Greek and also the Hebrew, it will tell you what that curse with the curse means. It's not always a financial curse. It's not always a curse of mental of mentalness. It's sometimes that you're going to curse the house of God. Yeah. Yes. Research, research. The problem is that, listen, it is good to have a leader that understands the Greek and also understands the Hebrew and know how to exegete the scriptures of the scriptures because they can't lead you astray. Listen, that the, the problem is that most of us, we take scriptures and we try to manipulate the people to get over what we want to get over. But right. The will of God. Right. I wish I had a house here. That's why sometimes we're so wounded and we're so hurt sitting in the house of God because we think that we're, we're so broken and the pastor has to put all the pieces together. Yes, sir. Yeah. Y'all ain't catch that, did you? When you are tapping to the will of God, and when you are tapping to God, that means you have some benefits that most sinners don't have. Mm, the GI Bill. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we all sinners saved by grace. Yeah, we all sinners. Yeah, true enough. But listen, I got some benefits that I can tap into. Yeah. Some things into existence. I can lay yeah. hands on the sick and they shall so, recover. That's why the Bible says you shall receive one power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. That means that I have a connection with God to work. I have some kingdom. Some kingdom benefits. Yes. Can I break it down for you? Can I break it down to where you understand when you live in a kingdom, you know you serve a king. That means the king has class. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The king gets certain things. The king, the king, the king can get fresh for water. The king can do. You know, when you serve the king, if you live in the kingdom, you, you look at the queen of France and all, all the places that, that people did whatever they did to what? Impress, impress the, the king. king. Yeah. That means that, listen, if I do whatever it takes to impress the king, that means when I wake up in the morning, I want to impress the king. Yeah. When I go to bed, I want yeah. to impress the king. Yeah. I work every day to get my money together so I, I can be up the king. Yeah. That means that I pray and I pass so I can see yep. the king. That yeah. means that whatever you do, you got to satisfy the king. Yeah. Uh,
Amen. Oh, my God. So listen, listen, it says, listen. It says here, it says, it says, it says, says uh, your share of a good ship and suffering, which you are called to endure as a good first class soldier of Christ. I wrote something down here. I said, I'm too classy. To be given up on anything. In other words, I have too much swag yeah. to give up on anything. Yeah. How would it look to me? I would lose my swag, my, my, my hood credibility if I give up. Uh, mm -hmm. How many of y'all y'all know how it is, man? The right. hood don't respect you when you give up. Yeah, that's I mean, right. I had, had a fight. You know, you had a fight in school. I, I had a lot of fights. I got to think about a girl before. I had a lot of right. fights. <laughs> she was big. <laughs> You know, and she gets hot. Oh, wow. But the thing is, that listen, I didn't give up though. She her brothers and them start beating me up. I'm still giving in. I'm still, right. I'm still fighting. I'm still giving in because I couldn't lose my street credibility. That, yeah, yeah, I understand. You know what I'm yeah. I couldn't be called, uh, you know, uh, that, that P word. I couldn't be called that. I couldn't lose my street credibility. <laughs> How do you know the fact that you give up that man? Listen, you lose some heaven credibility. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That means that listen, listen, the devil. This is wrestling entrance. <laughs> Man. The problem is that sometimes we ask the question of why. Mm -hmm. I remember my mom used to always, and she's my witness, every time she say, Sean, can you go do such and such? I say, why? Sean, do you want to do such? I say, why? How many ever had the why spirit? Hey, Amanda. <laughs> we always ask why. Why, why ask why? Why? Sometimes we find ourselves asking why to question. Why am I here? Why have I been chosen for this race? Why am I why am I hurting? Why am I going through? Why am I in pain? Why? Why? Why when it comes to me, I never get ahead. I'm always seem like I'm always behind. Why? Why did God choose this life for me? Why? Why did God choose this situation for me? Why? Have anybody ever been there before the way you just ask God why? 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 Why am I broken? Why? 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 Why am I hurting? Why did he leave me? Why did she leave me? Why did he cheat on me? Why did she cheat on me? Why? Why? Have you ever been there before? You just ask the question why? Why am I in this? Church. Why am I here? Why am I there? Why it seems like I'm not progressing? It seems like I'm always going through. Why? What? Am I the only one that asked the question why? Then God comes back and say, listen, you're asking me this? Why are you complaining? Hmm? Why are you complaining when it's me who kept you? When it's me who protected you? When it's me that looked over you, when me that's provided for you. Listen, he said, listen, he said, he said this is what he says. He said, listen, just me, I, I made sure that I provided your needs and didn't take care of your wants for a reason. Huh, say that. Huh? Because listen, if the Bible talks about the Psalms, it says that the one scripture that seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Mm -hmm. And everybody begin to shout out this scripture. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, all his righteousness, all these things shall be added unto you. Ooh, God, thank you, Jesus. Ooh, I'm seeking them, I'm seeking them, I'm seeking them. But before that scripture, Mm -hmm. It says, if I provided for the birds and the trees, if I provided yes. for the birds and the air, if yes. I took care of ladies, then I That's still it. take care of yours. How but much more? Eat first the kingdom of heaven. That means that I'm going to take care of your needs. I'm not going to Yeah, yeah, but God said, yeah, give me the desires of your heart. Oh, my perfect walk of right home. Oh, we, we always use the right scripture to give for the right time for the right, right. situation. Right. Right. Why do you doubt me? 
Why? If I took care of the birds of the trees, mm. I, I could take care of you. Why? God, God, you say, why are we having this conversation? <laughs> Why are we having this conversation? Uh, uh, you asking why? I, I, I'm saying why not you? Why why not you? Man? Mm -hmm. And then God comes along. I'm going through my scriptures quick here. He said, look, the reason the why is because I prepared you for this. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? I, I, I built you for this. I made you for this. I made sure that you were able to endure through this. Some of us, man, the reason God hit us so hard with some things is because God can trust you. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, the reason you go through some time because God can trust you. Uh, the reason you, you go through all hurt and pain because God can trust you. Listen to that say, neighbor, God can trust you. I can trust you. Uh, talk to your neighbor, man. If they brush it, man, we got some bits outside that they can get. I can, can trust you. Say, God can trust you. I can trust you too. That's why you hurt. That's why you hurt because God can trust you. He trusts the fact that you're able to endure. He trusts the fact that you're able to make it through. He trusts the fact that you won't give up. Listen. Distractions kill. We yes, have sir. Distraction killers. Mm. Y'all get distraction that kills you. You know how it is. Some of y'all was paying attention to me until the distraction came up on the screen. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we have some distractions that blocks our vision from seeing where we're going. Amen. Some of us have some spiritual cataracts. Oh, Lord have mercy. Y'all get what I'm saying? To where it's a skill of our eyes to where we cannot see. That's why we have to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. Uh, some of us, man, we have some, some things blocking us on the roadway. That's why uh, some of us got some uh, bright lights headed our way and we can't see where we're going because we have some distractions. Uh, some of our distractions may be different. They may be uh, boyfriends, girlfriends. Uh, they Amen. May be, they may be true religions. They may be, uh, uh, that, that was my distraction at one time to where I felt like I had to wear all the name brand all the time to be respected. Uh, you know, this is a distraction. You know what I'm saying? It is, it's not about, it's not about, it's not about, it's not about, it's not about the things that are around you. It's the thing that's right in front of you. Uh, yeah. That's why he said, I press forth the work of the high calling uh, in Christ Jesus. That means that I got to set my focus different. Uh, uh, some of our focus is in the wrong place. You need to change yeah. your prescription. Uh, uh, God has given you 2020 <laughs> vision, but you're walking in 3010. You know, you know what I'm saying? You got to make sure that you start seeing what God wants you to see and stop seeing what's around you. Yeah, 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 seeing too much. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sometimes we're exposed to too many things. That's yeah. why we find ourselves not being locked into the plan of God. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not dealing with hair. I'm not dealing with clothes. I'm not dealing with uh, what, what you got on. I'm not dealing with your appearance, but I'm dealing with your relationship. That, that means most of us don't mind. When the last time 
have. That's why uh, Jesus said, he said here to the disciples, he said, can you tarry with me for one hour? Mm. What does that mean, tarry? Can you at least pray with me for one hour? Can you take at least one hour today? He said, he didn't say how you have to do it. He said, listen, why don't you take 10 minutes the first hour, 10 minutes the second hour, and make it equal at least one hour at least, you know what I'm saying? Right. But the problem is that we lose our focus to where we can't even focus to pray and seek the hand of God. Distractions. Mm. Yes. I'm, I'm going through it quickly, but the problem is after your distractions, you know, you come back to the point to where you're, you're undistracted and you start paying attention to what's going on in, in the spiritual realm. But then God comes along and says, listen, you can't quit. Mm -hmm. Look, so they say, hey, well, don't quit. Don't quit. Uh, don't try to quit over there. Some, some of us, man, we always quit. Uh, that, that's that's my problem, in. man. You know, uh, I, quit. Play, I, I think I used to play games with Jasmine and Jamie all the time, and, and then I used to always quit because I don't want to lose. Yeah. I'm, I'm just telling the truth, man. Tell the truth, ain't the devil. I am right I'm a man. I got a man. I got a man. I quit. I didn't want to lose. She's the witness. So, so the thing was that a lot of times when I used to play games and stuff, man, then I used to always oh, kick the game. You remember we had that, uh, the one with the CD in it, the, the one that you kick it and mess up real quick? Mm -hmm. So while they're not looking, I got my feet spread out. I'm playing the game. I kick it all the way out. Oh yeah, uh, Lot, lady. Lot's wife, you know, Lot was going and then she turned around and looked because she was willing to quit. The Bible says here in Genesis 19 26, it says, but his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Listen, look at your neighbor say, neighbor, don't get salty. No, oh, don't get salty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't that, get that, salty on me. Don't get salty. Don't that, get salty on me. For those who don't know. That means don't get mad, don't get angry, don't get a little salty. Yeah? You know, I used to hang out with Jerry Nern all the time. chapter 20 verse 17 it says this it says you shall not need to fight in this battle set yourself stand you still and see the salvation of the Lord with you O Judah and Jerusalem for not nor be dismayed tomorrow go out against them for the Lord will be with you listen I'm here to let you know that you you may be salty and you may feel like you're at a war and you have to fight to get at this end of the line and finish strong. But I'm going to let you know the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. Mm -hmm. now, uh, that means that, listen, it's going to be a fight for you to have to make it to the end. But the fight is not with God. The fight is not yours. It's going to be a fight for you to have to do it. But the fight is not yours. The fight is the Lord's. Look at them and say, the fight is the Lord's. The fight is the Lord's. I'm going to let you know that there's a champion inside of you. I left my boxing gloves at home, man. I had a little boxing thing, a little blow up down, you know, the one punch it and come back at you. I was rushing out the house, man, trying to get here, but I had to, I'm, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that illustration, man. You know we got no illustrations, right? So, so the thing is, who does that? Rescue That's church. church. So, so the thing is that, listen, you gotta understand that there's a battle that you're gonna have to fight. You are a fighter. You are a fighter. You know when you're on the streets, man, and how, how many of you uh, experienced the streets a little bit, and you know when somebody made you mad, you was ready to fight, right? Amen. Why did we come to the house of God and we have a some spiritual punks, man. Oh! You know what I'm we, we, we won't fight. We won't fight in prayer. We won't fight in passion. We won't fight with seeking God. We have gotten weak. We have gotten. Oh, what happened to your fight? What happened to you? You want to fight all the time. What happened to you? Because you're through your uppercut, don't mean you quit. Because you're through your body, don't mean you're going to die. What happened to your fight? Why you not fight like you used to? Why
last year. This year. We're about to end it here. But we have this treasure in earthly vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are uh, perplexed, but not despair. We are prosecuted, but not forsaken. We are cast down, yeah. but not destroyed. Are oh, you getting that right there? Yeah. My God, my God. I'm going to read it again. Uh, we are troubled on Tr every side. Every side. Uh, yet we're not distressed. No. We are perplexed, but not to despair. Uh, uh, persecuted, persecuted, but not forsaken. Uh, cast down, but not destroyed. destroyed. Uh, always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord. Uh, yeah. Jesus, the life of
Father, we thank you. For every trial. For every battle. For every storm. We're going to finish strong. We're going to finish strong. You're too close. You're going to finish. You're going to finish. Father, we just thank you for everything that you have done for us, every miracle and blessing that you have given. We thank you for the word. It transformed us and renewed our mind. Let us know that we're going to finish. God, we just give you praise and glory. Hallelujah. Honor belongs to you. Mm. The devil is a liar. Yes, you are a liar. We shall finish, God. Yes, we will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give God the biggest hand of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, if you're going to finish, give God a big shout of praise. Come on, if you're going to finish. Just raise your hand. You don't have to come up. Just raise your hand. 